Curtis, uh, let's talk about the, the pitching here first. What about the bullpen? This has to be one of the best in the majors, no? I think so. Some of the moves that were made this offseason and the way guys are going to come back, plus the experience from the guys that have been here, and also the chemistry with the guys that have been together for a couple of years and having success in 2009 in, in the World Series. You put all that together, I think it could be a very deep bullpen. I think the fact that no one and anybody coming in uh, can get the job done, no matter what the situation happens to be, all those things add to being very positive things for the late innings of the game for us. And let's stick with the pitching really quick. The battle for the fourth and fifth spots, you have uh, Freddie Garcia, you have Bartolo Colon, and each of them is pitching like they don't want to lose this job. Both those guys I faced uh, as opponents a lot, and they've been very fierce competitors uh, on the opposite side. You know, never a t an easy at bat going up against those guys, no matter what they look like out there. You know that it's going to be a grind. They're never going to give in. They have a bunch of experience and they know what they need to do to get you out uh, in terms of stuff it might not be as overpowering as before but at the end of the day they get results and Freddie Garcia has been doing it for a very long time Bartolo Colon I played behind him I think twice now I mean we get some of the quickest innings with him pitching so far so the good thing that they have the battle going on they're feeding off each other they're fighting for it and at the end of the day it's going to end up making us that much better what about Ivan Nova he's in the mix too and he's doing pretty well as well he had a great year for us last year when called upon to come up to New York and deliver. Great stuff. You know, definitely not a, a scared competitor. We had a, an incident throughout the course of the year last year, and he didn't back down from it. You know, obviously that's not going to be what ends up making or breaking him, but the fact that you know that he's willing to go to battle for you, be there, has great pitching stuff. Uh, it's probably well far advanced for his age in terms of the maturity level and his pitching IQ. So, again, another tough decision. I'm glad I'm not Joe when it's all said and done at this. Speaking of Joe, uh, today he said Brett Gardner is extremely important to what you guys want to do, uh, whether it's at the bottom of the lineup or the top of the lineup. Being with Brett every day down here in spring training, what are the, some of the differences you've seen, if any, in Brett and the way he prepares and the way he goes about his business, and how important is he to this team? In terms of his preparation, you know, he's always here early. He's always staying late. He's always grabbing me to take me here, there, and you would expect that from a guy who's got 10 or 15 years in, but he's a guy that takes on that role like he has 10 or 15 years in. Uh, he's a leader in his own right, especially probably for the outfield, considering he's been around a lot of guys for a long time. At the same time, he's always willing to listen and take advice when given from myself, Swisher, and the rest of the team. In terms of what he means for this lineup, no matter where you put him, he can go in at the top or the bottom. He can definitely be a guy that you have to worry about on the bases. And defensively, you know when you're hitting the ball to him, he has an opportunity to go ahead and take the momentum away from the opposing offense. And it's always fun to watch and just be in a position to watch him do some work over there in left field. How about you? Are you anxious to pick up where you left off last season? Excited to get back. Uh, we've been working hard with Kevin Long, uh, just getting back to where we were. And the basics was keeping everything simple, very compact, short to the baseball, and staying aggressive at the plate. That's been the focus for this spring training. We're only a few games into it, and the opposite pitchers are, you know, they're working on their things, and it's hard to go ahead and say where you are at today. But feel-wise, everything feels pretty good, and that's where you want to be right now, regardless of the results, because I think I might have just over 10 at-bats, so you can't take too much of it. But as long as the body's feeling good, we're getting our work done, and we're working our way towards it. That's the big thing. And Kevin Long brought up a... A great point. Hey, we got seven weeks to get it right, so we got plenty of time. Just one more for me. You're a true ambassador to the game of baseball in the offseason. You brought baseball all around the world and introduced it to kids. What was your favorite part of that trip? I see my favorite part of the trip of going to New Zealand, I think, would be actually watching Team New Zealand beat Team Guam. Not because I got nothing against Team Guam, just the fact that, uh, I mean, those kids are some of the, the, the coolest kids that I saw, both Team Guam and Team New Zealand. But the fact that it's a country where it's just getting started. It's a country that hadn't been playing it for a long time. And to see that, hey, if you get the right pieces together, you get the kids that like it, you have fun doing it, any and everything's possible. And that's what I always like to relay to people playing this game anywhere in the world. Don't have to be the tallest. Don't have to be the biggest or the fastest. Don't have to have the most money. But if you go out there and have fun, some good hand-eye coordination, some discipline, you can go a long way. And sure enough, it was probably the upset of the tournament out there. Well, you definitely went a long way, and you keep doing it. Good luck this season, Curtis. We appreciate the Thank time. You. That's Curtis Granderson here on YesNetwork.com.